Okay, we're going to do a hack to a Sony S600. Um, we're going to do a four wire hack, but I'll show you how to change it to a three wire. Um, it's just, um, you just uh, skip a step. So, um, we'll get going with this and show you how to hack this S600. Okay, first we're going to start opening up the battery compartment. And there's a screw right there in the corner. We're going to take it out. We're going to lay that screw down. Screw our better. We're going to put another one here at the bottom. And we're going to take it out. Four screws all together. One over by the tripod holder. We're going to take it out. And we need to pull back the US or the USB. There's one right here. And it's out. Okay, now we want to open up the battery door. And I'm going to separate right here. Now you do want to make sure there's no chip in there, it won't come apart. I'll pull that apart. And over here I want to kind of grab right there, pull that out. And I pushed it back together. I'm going to grab there, pull that up, and that will unlock lock this top here. And pull that right out. Now I do recommend taping the LCD down and that's what we'll do next okay I'm gonna put a little bit of piece of tape right here right there push it down and that's gonna keep that um, LCD from flopping around now with the battery door open you know, we can take this front cover off so I'll have to lift up a little bit over here and that'll unlock this corner Now you got to be very careful taking this off. This port part right here is your uh, flash. This part right here is your flash capacitor. You do not want to touch that. Now I do recommend discharging the capacitor, and I have a resistor here that I made up. And all we're going to do to discharge. is um, short these two out. That way we don't blow anything up. We don't get shocked. We don't get hurt. Capacitor is discharged. Now what I'm going to do is open open up the lens cover all the way so that it's all the way open. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to run my externals top this part of the board right here is where you want to go into our externals this is negative this is positive okay I got my wire and I got it tinned and what I'm going to do now you got to be careful with your finger because you stick out over there you're going to get whacked and you get hit by a uh, S600 slave or for, I'm sorry an S600 uh, capacitor it's going to hurt um, you'll not, will not forget it. So we're gonna take it up in behind these ribbons, and I'm gonna twist it so that I can solder, so I can solder that on. Okay, I'm gonna hold that wire down there, right on that solder point. I'm going to solder it in. And that's my ground. Now my positive is uh, right here. And I'm going to grab it. Solder it. And 
Now, try it. There we go. And that's, now, what I want to do is route my wires. So I'm going to route this wire around this speaker. Right like that. I'll route that wire right around that speaker. I'm going to lift this little metal bar. I'm going to slide my wire right underneath it. Maybe. And that slid underneath. And as you can see, I'll go right around that speaker. Okay, now I can close the camera up. I can put my cover here. Make sure my door is open or I won't be able to close it. And I don't want to close it all the way tight. I just want to so I don't stick my finger over where I don't want it. And now we're going to do the uh, hack of the camera. Now I need to remove this screw right here. Now that'll let me pull this bar off. Let me get the screw undone. So let me pull that bar off. I want to flip the bar over and there's a little catch right there. I just want to pull that back just a knot a little bit so I can get that board off and I can pull that board right off. So now it's away from this part and I can lay that board here. I usually squeeze a little bit to get it um, to hold for me. Now I'll take an X-Acto knife and right in this little corner I want to, there's a little bit of rubber there. I'm going to take it off. You can use this one or that one, it doesn't matter which one you actually use for contacts. I'm going to get that little piece of rubber also exposed my uh, solder points. Okay, I'm ready to put my power wire on. That was the one I just cleaned off. And I'm going to dip my, I'm going to tin my wire, I'm going to dip it in that paste. I'm going to dip it in uh, um, from Radio Shack, it's rosin soldering flux. I'm going to dip it in there. And I'm going to Lay that down. Try to get in position here for me. All I'm going to do is lay that down right where I just cleaned that off. Took. And that's my power. Okay, I'm going to have a piece of wire here. I got it tin. I'm going to dip it in my resin. And the spot that I want to get to is right here. And it's really small. Now, what I got to do is make sure I don't get any on the metal housing. And you'll see that little spot right there. So I have my tin wire, and I've got it dipped in, in uh, resin. And all i got to do is take that iron and just touch it. And you can see I'm, I'm on. And that's my shutter. Now I've done a lot of these hacks with the S600s. And one of the most critical parts is the routing of the wires. And that's why I soldered the way I soldered. Because what I want to do is I want to take these wires and there's a slot right here. And I'm going to take those wires 
I'm going to put them through that slot. And pull on them a little bit. Get them there. Get the other one. Put it through. Because I certainly think this is a whole lot harder than the soldering part. Because I've got to get this board connected. Now, what I do is I'll take this board and I pull it up. i got to get it away from the front so i got to separate just a little bit. And i got to pull that board out so I can get a hold of it. Pull it so I can put it on. snap down now what I need to check for I want to pull these wires so they're not sticking up like that and they're not cooperating that went now what I'm looking for is if you see this right here that orange wires in there it's kind of like a it's a hole that a piece sits in, so I want to make sure that wire is not in that hole. So now I'm ready to put this together. Now, on down in here, you'll see like a little white piece. There's a, there's, it's like a, is that basically like a, uh, a shelf for that LED to sit on? You need to get on. The LD in front of that. And you need your door open. And your camera will go right together. And if you're not over top of that white holder with your LED, this will stick up and don't want to go together for you. And what I do now is I take the wire underneath where my screw would go. Take my wire and try and do this so you can see. This is not as hard as it looks, it's just so you can see it. Okay, now that I've got my wires routed, I can put this screw back in. I'm behind there. Now I can cut my two wires that goes to my black and red wire that goes to my lens lens cover. Get them out of there. Throw them away. Then I can route these these two down and outside the uh, tripod where the tripod holder would go. Uh, let's get my external wires out of the way first. Pull them through. I can. And those through. And we're ready for the next step. Okay, we're going to do our common. Now, there's two ways I could do this. I could use the common off my external from my battery, which is my white one, or I can solder in a separate uh, common, which I normally do with the F600. Because it's easier, um, so it's easy to run the extra wire. I'm going to solder it to the uh, USB hood, which is a ground. Solder that in, and I'll run that through my tripod hole. I 
Now, if uh, if I'm only doing a three wire hack, I can um, skip my next step. Um, um, the next step will be to cut the white wire and put a, make it a four wire hack. So, um, if I'm only going to do a uh, three wire hack, I'm going to skip this the next next section and um, won't run the fourth wire. Okay, now I'm gonna solder a piece of wire in there. If you're doing a three wire hack, you'll skip this step and not do it. Um, things close up. But I'm gonna do a four wire hack. Stick that wire right down where the white one was. And that's for the lens cover, and that'll be the uh, lens cover wire for a Yeti or an AOI board. And same thing, I'm going to take this out. Now this um, camera with a four wire hack will only work with a Yeti or a AY, AYO, or AIO board um, at this point. And you do gotta uh, keep those wires away from the USB port. You don't want them to get uh, cut. So I do gotta get them tucked down in there. And they're not cooperating. Now I can take my tape off, pull that off, and I can put my front, my back cover back on. Okay, I'm ready to put my back cover on. And what I want to do is take that slide, and put it all the way to the left. I want to put this slide here all the way to the to the left too, so that they engage each other. If you don't have that right, and you push that button, you can break that little black knob off. So we're going to put this on. Make sure your battery is up, open. And battery doors open. I'm going to take this top, push, and I can push that back right down around, and it'll catch. Close my battery door. Now I'm ready to test the camera. Okay, I'm going to test my hack. First thing I'm going to do, so I got batteries in it, is I'm going to touch uh, my common with my power. Okay, I have power on. I did power on to the screen, which is normal. And I got an error. That's what I'm looking for, is that error. So now I'm going to turn the camera back off. Turn off the button or the... Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the, the white wire, which is our lens cover wire, and I'm going to tie it with my common. And this will get rid of that error and let me turn on the, ca the, ca the camera without an error. Now I want to take my yellow wire with my shutter and touch with those two connected. And I'll take a picture. So my hack's good. Now I can put my screws back in my camera and I'd be done. And you can hear an alarm because I separated the, com the common from the from the shutter or the common from the lens cover. Now if I turn it off now, the uh, lens will stay out. As you can see it stays out and that's what we're doing with the four wire. We're cheating so the lens stays out. Okay, I'm ready to put the screws back in. Just probably start anywhere you want. I start there. that one in. Now this is probably the hardest one right here. That's the hardest one. Just 
doesn't always want to start. As you can see. Okay, the next one is uh, rips the tripod hole. Now you don't want to tighten this one all the way down, just snug it because we're missing it. I don't put a spacer back in. So I don't just when it starts to get a little tight, I stop. And if you remember, next one's under the battery door. And there, the hack is done for uh, S600 with the uh, wires out the tripod hole. Hope this helps.